Concerns have been raised over the culling of wildlife on Hamilton Island in the Whitsundays. The ABC can reveal wallabies, possums and birds have been killed in the past 18 months to protect property and human health at the luxury holiday destination. Stephanie Smale reports. Hamilton Island, a tourism mecca where visitors can commune with nature. They're called cute and cuddly in public, but local wildlife is being destroyed in big numbers. The resort has Queensland government permission to kill an unrestricted number of these agile wallabies every year. Between November 2014 and May this year, 393 were shot. We're certainly not in favour of, of culls of this magnitude continuing. Nearly 600 brush tail possums have been destroyed too. I don't feel that's the overall answer at all. It's unclear what percentage of each species is being taken out. The Environment Department says it doesn't have information about population sizes. We really need to know the populations of the species we're dealing with before we take those uh, quite drastic measures. Experts are particularly worried about the island's native birds. The sulphur-crested cockatoos are famously friendly. No, you don't. Did I say you could come in? But 35 have been killed in the past 18 months, along with 36 pied currawong and a kookaburra. The Environment Department says the so-called damage mitigation permits are in place on the island to prevent damage or loss of property and to protect the health and well-being of staff, guests and other visitors. Only one of the permits covers the airport to reduce interference from wildlife. If they're just culling them because they're basically an inconvenience, then we just can't support that. Hamilton Island says birds and possums can be aggressive and cause hygiene and disease concerns. Management says agile wallabies are a threat to transport and native vegetation, but insists animals are culled as a last resort. Hamilton Island says it's proactive in managing problematic wildlife. Stephanie Smell, ABC News.